What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel Rockin' the Country. I'm Don. Hope you're having a good day. I'm having a good day. And this, I'm looking forward to this one. And because it's an artist who's like an up and comer, never heard of him, don't know the song. Daniel Wright, you had requested that I do this, and I'm going to read to everybody what, the, uh, what your comment was. You said this. I hope this email finds you well. The link I am sending in this email is from an independent artist out of Missouri. He's a law enforcement officer and one of the most humble fellows I have had the pleasure of talking to. He just dropped this album today, which was May 4th, so by the time this is posted, maybe it'll be a month later. Give him a listen and maybe a reaction if you see fit. Would love to see your reaction. The song is called A Writer's Mind. So that was from Daniel Wright. So yeah, you know what? I like helping out the, the, the newer artists. You know, the channel's big enough now to where it, you know, it helps. Let's put it that way. We're not huge because that's not the nature of, right now it's not, <laughs> we're growing, but it's not the nature of non-pop music. But I like helping out the new artists. I like giving them exposure and read the comments and so forth. So maybe... <laughs> Couch your comments kindly and constructively. Uh, this is TJ Hernandez's A Writer's Mind, and he's from Missouri. I don't know where. I don't know anything other than what your email said. So here we go. Everybody thinks it's all money and fame I'm here to tell you son, all I got's my name A guitar and a couple songs I wrote A stack of bills waiting at my home yeah. This honky-tonk life, it's hard and cold Jobs and then I hit the road Leaving my woman home all alone While I sing into this microphone I'll write you right, sing you a song One that'll live after I'm dead and gone yeah. oh. It's all I got Leave behind That's a glimpse to writer's mind I'll pause in there because that's right that's true. That's a glimpse into a writer's mind. That's what he just said. Whether you're writing prose, a book, poems, anything, you think, all right. Of course, as a writer, and you want to write deep things, and a lyricist using words, by the time you're using words at some level, you're aware of your own mortality. And so when you're gone, you want something to live on. You know, most folks do anyway. Like, I don't know, sociopaths, but who can say that? I don't know. But um, anyway, the writer's mind. Let's see where else he goes with this thing. I like, I like the tone he set for this song. There's nothing rah-rah about it, and it sort of does make you introspect a bit, like go on the journey with him as he's punching out the lyrics. Let's see. I'll lose this thought, but that higher pitch picking right there, the higher pitch to it, for some reason makes me think of the future. Like it's connoting hope that things will work out the way he wants. Because that's the first real time that he's hit a couple of those notes in a row. I don't know if that much thought was put into it, but that's, that's how I felt it. That's how I heard it. A 
little happier now. I strum my guitar to the songs I sing. I work day and night until my fingers bleed. But I wouldn't change a thing cause it's all I know. It's mind and a wounded soul. There you go. I'll write you right, sing you a song. One that'll live after I'm dead and gone. It's all I got to leave behind. That's a glimpse into a writer's mind. To writer's mind. That said it. That's not a normal law enforcement officer. <laughs> uh, and also, I don't know if that glimpse into a writer's mind. Because in the beginning, he brought like his son into it. So, it, But it seemed open-ended to where it wasn't just addressed to him. But his son would know a whole lot more about him through this song. And, of course, we will get the generic understanding of what it's like to be a writer. Especially with, what do you say, like a poet's, a, a poet's heart and something. It wasn't a downtrodden soul, but something to that effect. So... You know, you, you mix those two things together and you're going to get a certain type of song. Yeah. So I love it when people tackle different subjects. I've never heard this subject be tackled before. I've heard the idea of like writing a song that you hope gets out there in different ways, but never quite in this way. And then knowing Daniel, what you said, Daniel Wright, what you said in the comments that he's a law enforcement officer. I'm envisioning, you know, one, there'd be a lot of material on the job that you would get because you'd see, you know, if you have any measure of compassion, which most folks do, you'd see how hard people's lives are. Even if you have to arrest them, you're like, sometimes it's just got to be wearisome, you know, and other times you're like, oh no, I got to get this guy. But for some folks, you're like, their lives are just hard and beaten down and I I got to take them in, but that's just going to make their lives worse. But I got to do it. It's my job. But all of that would set a panorama, you know, to write, you know, especially if you're a poet with concision is your, your job is, you know, brevity and to the point. And then it's interesting because next in queue, I'm doing Mickey LaManta and Mickey is a corrections officer. <laughs> And I don't plan this stuff. You guys request them in whatever order they go on the list. That's how they get done. So, uh, you know, that's for tomorrow's. But anyway, that was beautiful. I'm not going to rate it, although I would rate it highly. And you know what? I am going to rate that. I, I liked that the instrumentation was not oversold. It was not a whiny type of song. It was like, here's what's going on. Here's what goes on inside a writer's, a writer's mind, my mind in, in particular. And I like that honesty. I like that awareness. I, you know, the challenge of writing a song like that would be would be difficult, seriously, because there's so many ways you could go when you're talking about right. You're not only writing, you're talking about writing, and that magnifies the difficulty. Just you know what? Just in honor of that alone, I'm. Oh God, it's almost that 9.0 level for me. The. It, I'm going to leave it right at a 9.0 because it. In, I was intrigued. I was entranced almost because I work with words a lot because I write a lot as well. And writing informs your speaking. So learning English language or language itself, wherever you are, helps in how you articulate. So, um, that, yeah. All right. So I like that. I wonder, you know, I'll hear more. Leave your comments, guys. And TJ Hernandez, if you happen to see this, love to see your comments because we love to interact with the artists when you guys, you know, grace us with your presence. It's just a wonderful thing. So, all right.
Daniel Wright, there you go. I don't know how you know TJ Hernandez. Maybe you don't. You just know of him, but I'm guessing you know him. So uh, anyhow, that's it, guys. Have a wonderful day. See you on another video and keep rocking the country.